liftoff of the Delta II rocket with Kepler. In March of 2009, we finally launched Kepler for the express purpose of finding Earth-sized planets around sun-like stars. Over 1,235 planetary candidates were identified in the first 120 days. Just 20 years ago, planets were believed to be rare. But Kepler has found almost 10 planetary candidates a day, and they're still counting. To find them, it has a staring contest with the stars until one blinks. We're watching these stars, for instances, when a planet flies between us and the star, casting a shadow in our direction. To capture these tiny shadows, Kepler uses the largest camera ever launched by NASA with a jaw-dropping 95 megapixels, 10 times the power of your point and shoot. The images it's taken have helped astronomers calculate that planets could even outnumber the stars by at least two to one. If a few percent of all stars have a cousin of the Earth, if you will, then that means there are literally billions of Earth-like worlds just in our galaxy. By the Kepler mission's end, it could answer one of humanity's oldest and most profound questions. Even the ancient Greeks hypothesized that like grains of wheat in a wheat field, we were probably just one grain and there were many other grains. And I believe if we find one civilization, we'll find many. The question is, how will our species react? Will human beings embrace the unknown? Or will we run scared?